Okay, well now that we got this up at the top of the hill, we're gonna do one more oil change on it uh, and then get it ready for a test drive. If you remember, it came in, it had the valve bridge guide had broken and come out of the head on it. He was getting coolant in the oil and he got towed in. Um, but the, yeah, the, the valve bridge guide, you can see it actually broke as it pulled it out of the head. And then where it goes into the head, that actually goes into the water jacket. So we had a ton of coolant getting into the crankcase of this. Uh, when it came in, we, we drained 15 gallons of oil and coolant out of the crankcase, and that only holds like five gallons, five and a half normally. So uh, yeah, it was definitely way, way over full. The crankshaft was definitely hitting the oil in there. That's how bad it was. Uh, but uh, yeah, now that it's here, they uh, can stay that they stayed the night at the top of the hill, and we're going to go on a test drive here this morning after we do one more oil change. So we're definitely not making any oil, but we are getting it cleaned out. It still has that great tint to it, but I mean, this one got up to temperature and run through there. So we're going to give him a good oil again here. We're going to go with Dello uh, straight, straight 40 weight CF2 oil this time. And then uh, we're going to add a little bit of the Lucas uh, oil stabilizer. Okay, we're gonna start this up here in a second. We just put the Dello uh, 100, so straight 40 weight oil in it, another fresh oil change. There's no diesel or anything at this point. Another brand new filter. Um, it's cold start in the morning here. It's, I don't know, in the 60s. Uh, so it's not super cold, but it, the engine's cold. We're going to, if it has a hunt still, we haven't addressed the hunt at all because it wasn't hunting like that before this issue, right? So mm -hmm. we think all that slurry of crap in there was messing with everything. But if it still has a hunt, then he's gonna crack on this buffer. He's gonna crack that little uh, adjust that uh, jam nut loose, and then he'll run that screw in just enough to raise the RPM, uh, about 15 to 20 RPM, and it's gonna it'll smooth right out when he does that. So if it has a hunt right at the start, just immediately get on to doing that. So right. don't don't because it'll, otherwise it'll warm up and it'll go away. But let's try and take care of it right at the beginning. Right. Okay. I don't even touch the throttle, I just start it. That's correct. Go ahead and run it in just a hair. system uh, but not much so it's mostly almost all about it's just a little tiny film at the very top of this thing here but not much at all. <laughs> what year did you buy this bus 79 <laughs> yeah the 1970s <laughs> my birthday <laughs> We wrecked the class C and bought this thing. You have the Johnson bar break off? <laughs> yeah. Just take it in first, I guess, huh? Yeah. Beautiful place here, man. So what is dragging? Is that your mud flap? Yeah, it's a mud flap. When, when, it, when it gets doing its thing right now, it'll, it'll lift it a little bit higher. I think the toe took about a quarter inch off the back flap. <laughs> Or 
get back here, man. It, I couldn't live back here. It's <laughs> it's thi it's thicker than our forest is in Florida. It's unreal. I get used to it. My allergies are going. <laughs> Looks like the front X been pilfered on, huh? Yeah, he had that parked it a lot, and somebody stole a bunch of parts off of That's it. Lance's. Yeah. Boy, he's had such I mean, they like luck. stole the alternator. They they stole windows off of it because he's he, had some hard luck, Lance. Be careful of this rock here. Yes, sir. Do you, do you have a clicker for this? Uh, I gotta get out and manually open the one anyways. That's right, I'm right to get out of your driveway to the main road. Yeah. I keep thinking. Yeah, you do not want to go left out of our driveway. I bet. Well, you'd have that turnaround right behind, right past, right? No, there's no turnaround that way. Oh, okay, that you'll, was on the other road. Yeah, you'll be, you'll be stuck on that for, 20 minutes on the hilliest, curviest this is road. your property in here? Yes. You said it was a tree down. It was on this slope here? Yeah, it was up I think two, two turns from now. The professional crew had to come in, Sandy, to take this tree off the road. Wow. And they didn't charge Scott for it. It was his tree, but it was on the road. Right on. Their responsibility. You got some monster trees in here. We got some monster rocks in here. Yeah, I've seen the clip over things. They're awesome. Oil pressure's way up there. If you can look up at the top, you'll see some big rocks up here coming up. There's the size of buses. Yeah. Wow, look at these ledges. Yeah, there's one of the big rocks right there. It's got a huge overhang. That's beautiful. That's a moth. We got a piece of dot here, man. This is our style of living, man. Away from it. I don't use it. Ducks in the pond base. Hmm. Everything feel good? Yeah. Well, good oil. Really good oil pressure, higher than it's been because of that Lucas. It's up almost to 57 pounds. Wow, that is high. Temperatures, uh, 150, 160. Feels, feels as good as it ever does. She ain't smoking or nothing, right? Not at all. Let me see when I get in the fourth. as much as it not more than it ever does okay but if i if i pour it in fourth i get smoked That's yeah you get burnt. yeah because your governor's or your uh, blower is not at full rpm yet the speed limit's going to drop to 30 as soon as you get across this bridge go a little different route today we're not going to go around the courthouse square okay. i'm going to take you down to show you where highway 50's at all right yeah i've never seen cinderella i've never been out this way before straight right yeah just go straight yeah straight that's what i thought it was going to be straight down straight down Gauge is looking good. Yeah. Temperature's coming up. 175. Pressure's still over 40. I, that, that Lucas makes a big difference in the crankcase. I wonder if I should run it all the time. I don't know. Yeah, well, well once it gets warmed up, it's going to come down. Yeah, it's gonna it does. Thin yeah. out a little bit. It feels good, though. So we'll go straight through this light, straight through the next one. Boom, Daddy. Fuel's not bad here. No, it's not. 
skeletons come down. I like all the skeletons they got. <laughs> They're all over the place. Ted would dig this square. Come on, Daddy. He usually has one sitting in the front seat during the rallies. <laughs> Fuel gauge accurate on the dashboard? <laughs> Say fuel gauge, yeah. yeah. I got a quarter tank. Yeah, I, I would I would never let my bus get that low if I was you. I hear you. <laughs> There's plenty in there. I probably got over 150 miles in that tank. But I, it don't ever get near that low when we're in, you know, the Alcan. My, uh, my tack's not accurate. Uh, full RPMs is 500 off, but I know that and I have the tack marked with I never got the match, you know, between the teeth, the sender. Straight. This is where I hit 50, right. that's 50 west. Right? Yeah, we want the other way, so it'll, it'll be a left-hand turn to get onto 50. That motorhome's been sitting there for a while, huh? Yeah. So that's CarQuest there, the CarCo, the guys that gave us that oil. Right on. <laughs> right on. <laughs> nice little town. So I'm going to have you pass 50 right now, just because there's a good parking lot to turn around in, just past 50. Sure. But 50 is the next left that you're going to come to. Sandy, this highway we're coming up to is where we're going to turn to go home. This highway we're coming up to 50 Junction yeah. is where we make a left to go home. Okay. That'll take you down to Columbia, Tennessee, and then you'll pick up I-65 South there. I-65 South. Okay. All right. It is 65, yeah. yeah. You see that old car dealership up there on the left? Looks that, that's, that that's the parking lot we're going to turn around okay. in. So we'll pass this intersection and then you'll pull in there a lot. This is my left for Columbia, right? That, yeah, that's where cool. you'll go later. The old girl dodged the bullet again. <laughs> I'd go to the second entrance. Yeah, so, yeah. see that. This would be a good overnight spot if you had to go up the highway. That's <laughs> pretty cool. Boy, that looks like a real old Goldie. Gotta be in the twenties or thirties. <laughs> Might get old Chevy back there. Is that a Chevy or a Ford? Station Sure you want high center on this? I'm gonna try to hit it at it. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> <laughs> That's my way home. Yeah. Gauges look real good. Sounds good. Yeah, it does. Sounds about normal. Since the rebuild, it saves at least a year or more. You know. Yeah. I never. I don't use propane. I don't. I don't feel like I need it anymore. But it's still there if I did. You got Lenny wound up pretty tight, huh? Yeah, he's yeah. he's very. That Joe Master wasn't he the man that helped you with the spring? Uh huh. Tinge? Yeah, he put new springs in it. Uh huh. That, that really brought it back to life. Yeah, I'm sure. This thing is still set up pretty conservative, you know. We we like the longevity of part that's, of it. That's that's the thing. It'll get a lot more life out of it by taking it easy like that. I hear Mine, mine's not going to last as long, but it's more fun driving it while it's like that. Yeah, and you got, and you got, a, you know, a guy that can fix it for you. Yeah. <laughs> I need to bring myself back to monitoring gauges more frequent now. For sure. Yeah, every uh, every mile marker is my clue when I'm driving down the road I and agree. on my interstate every tenth of a, or eighth of a mile they have a sign so I'll see that mile marker sign and then I look at the gauges and the next mile marker sign look at the gauges really I gotta I gotta get rid of my complacency now I, yeah I, 
too much confidence to build that. It, it can save your engine for sure. As soon as I, I, I think doing that, checking that oil saved my ass. If I'd have got on the highway, I'd have probably burned it up. Yeah, well, you tried to because when you said you got two, what did you say, 240 on the twice, gauge? Two, twice, uh, twice, yeah. Because you didn't believe the gauge because there's no way that could happen if you just put coolant in it and it wasn't warmed up yet. But if there was no coolant in the head, it absolutely could do that. Oh, yeah, we need your hot now. Yeah. Yeah, they got a police escort here the other night. One of our neighbors spotted them like 30 miles away with a tow and a bus, the tow truck. He said, I bet I know where you're going with that. Is that what he said? <laughs> yeah, I know where you're going with that bus. <laughs> then, he, then he calls his buddies. He's on the radio with the cops, and as we're going by, the lights are flashing. It lit up like a Christmas tree now. <laughs> that way or? Straight. Straight. Okay, okay this port is too yeah. late. It's a neat little place. They probably see a lot of buses since you moved in, huh? Yes, you do. Town will never be the same, yeah. Well, you literally up the up the resources in this town for sure. One of those buildings on the square used to be a bus depot. Really? Yeah. They would have waited a little longer, Scott. <laughs> have you stop at the bottom of the hill by the stoplight right I'm gonna get out and I'm gonna walk part way up the hill and then record you going up the hill okay you want me to stop and pick you up? no okay. your bus can climb the hill but it will not stop halfway up on that hill and start again I, hear I you. guarantee you <laughs> have you ever seen John have you ever seen John's driveway no but I've heard about it, it. it's ridiculous it's I don't it's probably steeper than yours is for sure I don't know how he gets that there. Yeah, that's the problem, and the lanes aren't marked. Right. Yeah. The gauges are right where they always are. That's good. The, I'll tell you, the oil pressure's still up there. Be, I think that Lucas is going to hold on to it. Yeah. It's, it's above 40, and it's it's probably operating temperature, I'm sure. Yeah, you definitely are. You know, I mean, the gauge is... Uh, Well, you breathe new life into this bus with the rebuild, and it's been that way ever since. I'm just glad this thing didn't ruin all that, you know. It probably aged it a little bit, huh? I'm sure, it, yeah, you, uh... Ten years or so, right? Yeah, you took, you took one of its nine lives away. Yeah. I think you took one of mine, too, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll join that club. Took one of mine, too. It, it's a shame we couldn't have diagnosed that. Um, Without the toe. Yeah, <laughs> that's, yeah, I hear you. That's the painful part. Yeah. I'm just grateful you were here for us, Dan. Uh, you're welcome. Yeah. This is this is our drive right here, Dan. Dan, 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 Dan. Our driveway. Are you yeah. passing? You're passing it. Oh. I'm looking at that one. <laughs> Got it, though. <laughs> you want to leave the gates where they're at? Yeah. Yeah. That way, you guys will be able to get out. Yeah, but at the at the stoplight. <laughs> Thanks for turning me in there, Scott. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a scat I'm scatterbrained, buddy. I'm gonna get worse too. <laughs> As he gets older, you need to start moving this co-pilot seat closer to his ears. <laughs> Tell me about it. If he wants me to get here in age, I probably will before too long. I can't really hear hardly anything. My I, life might depend. I heard you say it, but I was looking at the right turn. <laughs> Didn't even know I had to turn left there. That's too bad about that bus. You give Lance my best regards and thank him for... I used his name to... What's his name? Matt. Okay, yep. watch our diameter here now. This is I, might, I, might, I might get a thank you for that. For that. <laughs> Will do. And uh, uh, Rodney told me to give you his best regards. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah. It's all this trash. Oh, it's leaves. It's just shiny. Okay, so let's go ahead and stop here.
looks pretty good in there. It's right full at the top. There's still a little bit of that oil water, but not, not a lot at the top. But we're gonna leave, we took the gasket off of this so that it doesn't seal, so he's not building coolant pressure on the way home. Um, it only runs like six PSI anyways in that system, but we're going to uh, not let it build up pressure. And so it might blow out a little bit of water because we have it all the way full right now. Um, and he'll continue to clean out the cooling system. But the engine oil looks great. We gave him a procedure of checking his oil with the engine hot two minutes after shutdown. You know, if you let it sit all night, it'll be more than what's in there. But right now we're about two thirds of the way. It's so clean, you can't even see it. Uh, but it's about two thirds between full and low. Uh, super clean oil. No, no sign of that grayness on it. That's good. We're not leaking any water. We let it sit all night long and no water came out, came through. So I think we uh, dodged a bullet and got lucky on this one. You know, we offer a service through our Patreon. It's like 50 bucks a month. Uh, it's kind of like roadside service. You can keep us and contact us and we can do a video chat if you need us or a, uh, a phone call if you're in trouble somewhere. It would have been nice if we could have troubleshot this without having to get a tow on it. But uh, I think that's a great service that we can offer through Patreon for bus owners just to have that, have our number in your back pocket and you can reach out to us on Patreon and we'll get a hold of you. I even do it on the weekends. If somebody's broke down, I'll, I'll guide them through what to do or what to look at. Sometimes when people are buying a bus, you know, we'll do a FaceTime through there too. So they can, I can see what they're, you know, without being there, I can tell them what to look at on certain buses and it definitely helps. So. They're gonna head back to Central Florida. Um, Akalawaha is the area that they're from. Have you ever heard of that? Um, but uh, yeah, they're gonna go down through Atlanta. I'm gonna keep them away from Mount Eagle, which is on Interstate 24 in Tennessee is a big mountain. We're gonna avoid that today. Just so, no, we don't need to put that kind of stress on this engine right now. But uh, they'll go through Birmingham and then pick up Atlanta and then down uh, from there. Well, he had another breakdown on the way home. He was uh, one exit past Tal Talladega Speedway um, and on the weekend of the Talladega race, and he broke down on the Interstate 20 there in traffic. Um, had nothing to do with what we had just fixed. Uh, the crankshaft, uh, the dampeners that are on there, the vibration dampeners, um, kind of like balancers, they actually sheared off the hub and they'd wedged in in the fan, so the en engine wouldn't even turn over. It just got wedged with that. Um, he's had this bus since 1979. He's never had to have a tow ever. They travel on it all the time. And then this trip, they had to have two tows on one trip for two separate things. But here you can see how that, that just completely sheared off. You, it was rust in there. You can see where it was rusted. So it had been cracked for a while and then it just broke off. So that's the end of the crankshaft there. He pulled the fan hub off and then that's where it's broke behind there where those dampeners go. But, uh, yeah, that was unfortunate, but he was able to, once he got towed off, they only towed him like five miles. Uh, get, get him to a safe exit and then he was able to take that off and limp it back to Florida uh, still going like 55 miles an hour without the vibration dampeners on there so he did make it home the next day so he was only delayed one extra day but it sucks he had to have a whole second tow uh, on a trip when he's never if he would have had a toad with him his toad he could have used his toad to push it to the next exit to get off the highway safely uh, he's done that before um, he's, with your jeep or whatever if you're flat towing uh, four down uh, you can just put you know push it push the bus, put it in neutral, have somebody steering, and then one person driving the Jeep. Uh, but yeah, he did make it home, thank goodness. So uh, now he's got to worry about finding a new hub to replace that to get those dampeners back on there.